back when I was still invited over to people's houses for shops lunch. I was exposed to a dish I've never quite seen before. Southern corn pudding. Now, I looked at this corn pudding, and I'm like, it looked like a kugel, or as some fancy people like to call it, a souffle. And from the first bite, I thought it was delicious, like outstanding. It's the perfect side dish, because if you're a mediocre cook, you can make an excellent version of this. And if you're like a really bad cook, and you really destroy the entree, your side dish is totally gonna steal the show and you're gonna look like a rock star. And no one's ever gonna talk about that undercooked salmon appetizer ever again. Corn pudding consists of two key ingredients. It's actually really one key ingredient more than anything is um, cream style corn. It's actually, it literally is canned corn pureed with a little bit of cornstarch. We're gonna be making this dairy. I like to start, I do two cans of cream corn to one can of whole kernel corn. So I'm gonna put that right in. I like to do five eggs. And then we're also gonna put some kosher salt and black pepper. I'm also gonna add a little cornstarch. Um, that's gonna help with the binding. The cornstarch and the eggs is what's gonna give it that pudding texture. We're also gonna add some milk. This can be water. This can be juice if you want to. Start cracking those eggs and I'm gonna get it mixed up. Now, let's get our fillings going. Okay, we got our scallions. For this, I'm only using the tops of the scallion. And I've got a cooking tin right here, which I'm gonna smear it with butter. You know what's great about shimmering with butter when it browns a little bit on the outside? Then you have that extra nutty note. It just makes everything taste like the perfectly burnt corner. You know, like that crusty cheese on a grilled cheese sandwich. I'm gonna put some scallion right in there. At this point, it's usually when I add some cheddar cheese in there. Hot shot peppers, go to go from b and I don't even know if they still make this anymore. Oh, wow, that's, uh, wow, second time this has happened to me on camera. Using a spoon. It seems like a good amount to put. So even people that don't like the heat will still tolerate it. Now, if I had a bowl big enough, I would put the pudding and all the ingredients in a bowl and mix them together. But you know, you gotta sometimes work with what you have, which I don't think is just an important lesson for today. I think it's an important lesson in general. I know no one asked for my life philosophy. So I'm gonna stir up this, uh, this pudding over here, this kugel. I mean, this is, this is just a great, great side dish. I mean, I'm, I love this as an entree too. I've made this quite a few times. And I'm literally gonna take this and I'm going to put it into the oven where it's gonna bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for probably half hour, 45 minutes tops. I'm looking for it to be set and for the cheese to be gooey and for the top to be, wow, that's embarrassing. I'm waiting for the cheese to, or the kugel to be set the cheese to be gooey, and the top to have a really nice golden brown color. Okay, now I've never done this before. We're gonna take the sweet corn pudding ingredients, the cream corn, the whole kernel corn, and the cornstarch, and the eggs, and we're gonna see what we could come up with uh, just by throwing it into a blender, getting it nice and creamy, because I feel like creamy is one of the most important parts about dessert. Let's start by getting the cream corn. I'm also gonna add um, the corn kernels, which might seem odd because we're blending it, but in my experience, the kernels add a lot of body and a lot of sweetness. You know what goes great with um, corn? Maple syrup, some pure vanilla we're gonna put in there, some vanilla extract. We're also gonna put in some white sugar with that maple syrup. Nice amount. Now we're gonna taste it and then we're gonna add more if we need to add more. I'm putting a little bit of cornstarch just to help with the binding. And we're gonna put four eggs in. Still gonna put a pinch of salt because salt helps enhance everything. We're gonna take this and we're gonna put it on the blender. Start on our lowest speed, always. And let it rip. I'm gonna be a mensch and put it through a strainer because there are some little uh, corn pieces in there.
and into the oven. I guess you're joining me on this journey. We're gonna find out in about, I would say a half hour, 45 minutes, how this is gonna come out looking. Uh, let's check on that corn pudding that we put in before. Yep. Yeah. See that? It's the jiggle, very slight. It's almost popping out. Ugh, oh, and. Mmm. Oh. Yeah. That's our savory one. And then to look at a little bit, or up, oh, uh, let's take a look at that jiggle. Yeah, that's gonna have a little more of a jiggle. It's got less egg. A little jiggle, a little hand test, but it feels nice and firm. Almost like a cheesecake when you take it out. I have a good feeling about the sweet one. You see how this is set? This is literally the texture of potato kugel. Some scallion, because scallions are delicious. A little bit of spicy honey. Mm. I mean, like, simple. Yes, I know. But just wait till you bite in. The sweet one over here, we're gonna put that in the fridge to cool down. I actually wanna taste it cold. I think that's when it's gonna be best. Let's pull it out of the fridge. I think it's been uh, chilling there long enough. Huh, it's set up quite nicely. Kinda got that texture of creme brulee. I mean, the truth is, I, I might as well just go full creme brulee. I love when a plan comes together, right? You know, a little A-team. You, you guys know the A-team? I'm gonna do some white sugar on top. Let's uh, get that torched. All right, I think that's gonna suffice. It may not look perfect, but it looks delicious. That's like two great ways to just make two simple dishes literally straight from your, your, your typical grocery store aisle anywhere in the United States of America. This has been another real episode of Not Quite Fine Dining with Not Quite Chef Isaac. Thank you and good night. Hey, sweetie, good morning. Wow. Oh, 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 oh,